John chapter 14, verse 13 and 14. It says, And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. You may ask, ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. John chapter 16, verse 24. Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, and your joy will be complete. I want you to circle a phrase there in those, those uh, three verses. Circle the phrase, in my name. In my name. In my name. What's so special about the name of Jesus that we have to pray in his name? I want to illustrate this for you. How many have been looking at my jars up here? All right, so I need a, I need a volunteer. So, Ron, thank you very much. You did it last week, but I don't want you to do it this week. So, hey, Ben, come on up here, brother. All right. Now, Ben, two jars, you can see that. What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you open both of them. And I'm going to have you pray like we've been learning, okay? So I'm going to say, I want you to say out loud for everybody to hear you. God, help me to open this jar in the name of Jesus. Okay, so here's the first one. Go ahead and do that. Pray it out loud, Don't, not in your heart and mind, but out loud so everybody can see it and hear it. God, help me to open this jar in the name of Jesus. All right. Go ahead, pull it out. What does it say? Your prayer is answered. Your prayer is answered. All right, just that simple. Okay, now, the other jar... I want you to pray and say, same exact way, but not in the name of Jesus. So you pray, God, help me to open this jar. God, help me to open this jar. <laughs> so let's look at what it says inside. Prayer not answered. Prayer not answered. What's the difference? Jesus. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate it. Give him a hand.